Welcome to Bidogo. Today I want to show you the new version of our prototype creator and for that we are going to our preview that you can find on pidogo.com slash preview. Once this is started you can see in the top area that we have introduced a new navigation that we call breadcrumb navigation. Uh, we are right now at the first page of this prototype and let me first add a couple of things that you can recognize this page later on uh, like this and first um, we have a hierarchy in our prototypes so we start with the prototype as the root element and then we have the page that is the uh, currently opened uh, element and so to go back to the prototype view, we just click on the name and then we are here where you can see the list of all elements of this prototype divided by types like folders, pages, screen flows, layers, uh, custom stencils. And to open a page, you just double click on one of those items and there we are. Um, we can um, also navigate using the browser history right now. We have two buttons in here, one for moving backward, one for moving forward in the history. So let's move backward. So we are back at the overview and we can move backward once more and we are at the first view that we had. The same works if you use the uh, buttons of your browser. And um, so let's create a second page. There we are, my page two. And um, let's pick some other content. Um, to make this a little different from the first page. This is the second page. And what you can also do, um, since we removed the tab buttons, we have introduced a shortcut navigation that is this little arrow in here. So once you hover over it, you can see all the elements on this, on this hierarchy level. And you see, okay, my page two, we have my page one, which was the first page, we have the screen flow, we have the layers, we have custom stencils. So let's go to the screen flow right now. And in here, we can add a newly created page. And let's say if we click on this image, we want to go there. And um, let's go back to page one. <coughs> um, what you, we can also do to navigate, since we have the browser history, we also have uh, the shortcuts for browser history. So for example on a Mac it's a command left arrow to go back and another one or a command right arrow to go forward in the history. And um, like this we expect that you can navigate through your prototype rather quickly. And to really show you the power of the breadcrumbs let me introduce a folder and we are now in Inside this folder, this folder is currently empty, so you see no elements. So let's pick a new page, which is inside the folder. And now you can see how the breadcrumbs are assembled. We have the prototype at first breadcrumb. We have the folder as a second crumb, and we have the newly created page as the third crumb. And for every layer, we have this hover menu where you can quickly access any element uh, on that particular level. <clears throat> what we also added is um, the ability for you to work in multiple browser tabs. So for example, if we want to create, if we want to, to work on the second page and the third page, we can say, okay, now, um, now open the second page in a new tab. So we have this little button in here in this overlay that you can press to open it in a new tab. We have, uh, if you go back to the overview, you can press the command key while double clicking. That opens it as well in the background. I just did a double click, uh, so it's now twice. Um, we have also in this context menu added the same button that we have in the overlay to open it in a new window. And um, like this, you can now have uh, 
all views that you are working on really quickly accessible because browser tabs you, you you can move them around you can group them you can easily switch between them so that's really fast and in the title of the page we have put the name of the current view as the first item so you, you really see where you are and where you could go we hope that uh, like this you can really quickly navigate through your prototype and this should accelerate your prototyping that's it for now uh, i hope you enjoyed viewing this video and uh, see you next time goodbye